My name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Happy belated Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I am filming this on Father's Day but I know it's not going to be up for a few days so happy belated. Today I want to talk some more about this guy. If you didn't see my makeup haul, this was one of the items I got from Sephora during the VIB, BI, Rouge, all of that stuff uh, sale back in May. and. I'm sad to say, so far, I'm really not happy with it. And it was a lot of money, even though I used a gift card on it. And I'm having this feeling that I should return it. The highlighter is nice. I don't know how well you can see. I have all of it on my face today. You can kind of see the highlight, which is very nice. The bronzer, I don't know if it's just not the right tone for me. Is it the sheen? something's not great there and then with the blush I'm still having that issue of when I turn this like maybe it's the duochrome or the shimmer that's in it but it gets darker when I turn my face and it's not giving me the color that I so wanted that's in this palette I've seen plenty of youtubers use it they look great in it, they're happy with it. I was reading reviews on Sephora's website the other night. Most people are very happy with it. However, not everything works for everyone, sadly, and I think I really have to reevaluate this one. I had mentioned that I was going to also use it on my eyes, which I never got around to doing, so I'm going to do that today because if I don't really love it on my eyes, there's really no reason for me to keep this. So I've applied my e.l.f. Stay All Day Eyeshadow Primer, which tends to work on me, so that should be giving this palette a fair shot. I'm also going to pull in this guy, the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette, because chances are I wouldn't use that palette on its own. I'm going to try to use all the colors, but it may need a little help from this guy here. I want to give this palette a fair chance. I'm going to start with my dollar store brush and use Peach Meringue from this palette here, and that's going to be my setting shade from crease to brow bone as per usual. Next I'm taking my fluffy brush from Wish and I'm going to try to go into Sugared Peach. It has gold glitter in it, that doesn't bother me. I think it could still be a nice transition and or crease shade. So that's what I'm going to attempt to use it as. Barely any of the glitter stuck around for that, which I actually like it when it sticks around, but oh well. Next I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics brush with a 3 on it, going into the same shade just making it a little deeper and getting it exactly where I want it to be. Next I'm using my IBY crease brush and going into Just a Ripe, which is kind of a red-brown color. I'm at, obviously, and I'm going even deeper into my crease with that. Of course, matching, or at least somewhat matching, my shirt, as usual. I think I'm actually going to use a little bit of that color on the outer third outer corner. See how I feel about that. And just try to back up the other palette properly. I'm just trying to blend it a little bit. It's not as harsh, but I will be putting other colors. Next I'm going in with my dollar store brush and into Peach Pearl. And that of course is going to be my brow bone highlight. This is pretty, but do I really need it? Is it that different from 
other things that I have. And even if it is, do I keep this entire palette just for that one shade? Okay, so this is going to be the most difficult part. I really do like this shade, or at least swatched, because I've never tried it on my eyes. On my cheeks, it's not performing how I want it to, but let's see what it does on my eyes. That is so pretty. <laughs> I don't know if I have anything quite like that. I think what I'm going to have to do is definitely look through my collection and see because I really don't want to keep this palette for one shade. Next I'm going in with Peach Honey on my pinky and just kind of closing that gap. So between the pink shade, pink peach shade, and the like burgundy shade. Just kind of putting that in there. That's pretty. I don't think I have a shade like this, but do I need a shade like this? Yeah, so I just looked at this in natural light and it looks really pretty, but ugh, we're just going to keep going for now. I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics brush with a 5 on it now and go back into Just Ripe to create some depth on the outer corner. Next, I'm going in with Peach Pop, and that's going right here, as per usual, mimicking the lid on the lower lash line. And then finally going in with Peach Honey to blend the two together, just like I did on the lid. To add a little something extra, I'm going to apply the Sephora V for Volume Mascara in Marsala on the bottom lashes. A nice burgundy. I feel like this mascara, hashtag not sponsor, but this mascara, um, I feel like brings out any green in your eyes, but doesn't make you look like you have an eye infection. Okay, so, so far I like the look that I came up with. I do like that peach pink shade. But let's see how it wears during the day, and let's see if I can find some similar colors in my collection. So I know I've done swatches before, but I'll show you again, because I need them again for myself. Peach Pearl, the highlighter. Sugared Peach, one of the blushes. Peach Pop, the other blush. And Peach Honey. A bronzer or highlighter uh, if you're of a deeper skin tone. Alright, so I've been looking through some things in my collection and I think you can see what my answer is probably going to be. I'm not going to say anything for sure yet because I do want to see how this wears, but I think I'm going to be returning the palette because there are a lot of similar shades in my collection already, and this is only with Too Faced stuff. Like, I was looking at some ColourPop, some Coastal Scents, I haven't even gone through everything, and I think I can find similar shades. The most important one to me was this one here, the Peach Pop, but as you can see, I have quite a few similar shades. That one too. Do I like the Peach Pop one the best? Probably. I think it's the one where the gold sheen is most prominent, but I have very similar things, and it was a lot of money. If I return this, I think I'll probably get around a maybe $38 gift card or credit back from Sephora, something around there, because I did get a little discount on it. So that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye. See you next time.